how the one supreme personality of Godhead acts through his different energies. The living entities are also the marginal energy of the supreme personality of Godhead. Brahma is also one of these living entities, but he is specially empowered by the supreme personality of Godhead. Although Brahma is supposed to be the creator of this universe, actually the supreme personality of Godhead is ultimate creator. In this verse, the word Maya is significant. Maya means energy. Lord Brahma is not the energetic, but is one of the manifestations of the Lord's marginal energy. In other words, Lord Brahma is only an instrument. Although sometimes plants appear extraordinary, sorry, contradictory, there is a definite plan behind all actions. One who is experienced and is favored by the Lord cannot understand, can understand that everything is being done according to the Lord's supreme plan. Krishna. Hare Krishna, we are very fortunate to have with us His Grace Samba Pru. Just would like to, many of you have heard, uh, at least all the youth devotees also got the opportunity to hear in the, this one also, what do you call the uh, Parivartan. So, Proji got introduced to Krishna consciousness at the very early age and joined at the age of 17, he uh, joined ISKCON. Uh, in 1980 and followed by many, many responsibilities Proji has taken up with uh, Surabhi Maharaj. Proji, Proji was assisting in the Prabhupada Samadhi in the Vrindavan in Mayapur and also later Proji got the land in the Iskon Punjabi Bag to start from the scratch and uh, developed it almost for 10 to 12 years. Proji was there in the beginning uh, establishing the center which is now one of the centers which is very vibrant and distributing so many books and later for <coughs> some time Prabhuji was president in the ISKCON Abit's temple also Hyderabad and later in 1999 uh, Prabhuji shifted to uh, Vizag, uh, Vishakapatnam and there Prabhuji st started the construction of the temple and which is now upcoming temple and uh, there is a big congregation as well as in the uh, when the temple opens, there will be almost more than 100 plus guest rooms and a big temple in the whole of South India. And uh, last time also I remember when Proji had come to the Youth Preachers Convention, Proji was telling that you should have the Youth Preachers Convention in the uh, Vaishakapatnam. It is just facing to the seashore. You will have a nice this one. So also there is uh, organic farming is also going on and with the big Goshala there. So we are very fortunate to have Proji with us and let us uh, thank and welcome Proji to ICC temple by chanting Hare Krishna Mantra once. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So, uh, this chapter, the chapter uh, title is that Maharaj Prithu becomes angry at the earth, Mother Earth. So, the story everybody knows that initially this earth was okay, but because King Bhena was a very nasty king, he started doing all sorts of nuisance. So, 
as a result, everywhere in your speciousness, everything got destroyed. Then uh, everybody approached the saintly people. And saintly people uh, shouted so loudly that King Bhena got a heart attack. But sound, vibration, he died. So that shows that uh, if somebody shouts automatically in the heart attack, so he died. Then he died, then they chant King Bhena's body. But I think first churning was not successful. Second operation was successful. And King Prithu, Prithu Maharaj also is a personal incarnation of the Lord. But he is such a powerful, he could get angry on Mother Earth. So, uh, and it, this particular verse is saying that uh, those who are not sufficiently the Brahma, the, uh, what do you call, uh, by your inconceivable potency, you have expanded yourself in many forms. Though the energy of through the agency of Brahma, you have created this universe and you are therefore directly uh, the Supreme Personality we got it. So here it's confirming Lord, the Supreme Lord is uh, Supreme Krishna and uh, even Brahma is also uh, one of the Srila Prabhupada, the Jiva. Uh, Ekela Ishwar Krishna Arsha Bhritta Jari Joyce Nachai Seto Ishikaranita. The Supreme Lord is Krishna, everybody is his servant. Tasam Brahma Mahajonir Aham Bija Pratapita. Pita Mahasha Jagato Mata Dhata Pita Maha. I am everything. I am your father, I am grandfather, I am your mother, I am you. Aham Bija Pratapita. I am the seed giving father. Mattam Parataram Nanyam Kinchi Dasti Dhananjaya. There is no truth superior to me. Mai Sarva Midam Pravatam Sutti Maniganayava. I am the teller of everything. I am everything. Everything is connected to me. Like a pearl is connected through the thread. So everything connected to us. So, Bhaktaram Jagatavsasam Sarvaloka Mahasram. He is the supreme. So this is the, uh, it's trying to confirm. Second is that those who are not sufficiently experienced cannot understand your transcendental activities because these persons are covered by your illusion energy. So we, worldly people, even though sometimes, let's say, devotee, uh, sometimes when you underestimate the Lord's energy, then we miscalculate. Uh, I just uh, want to bring to your attention, uh, even after understanding all scripture, Gita, Bhagavat, Upanishad, everything, Puranas, which is confirming Supreme Lord is everything. Everything is resting on Him. Maya tadabhidam sarvam jagat bhaktamrita matsani sarva bhutani nacaham tes bhavita. He said, everything resting on me. Uh, Purusha Shikta says that the whole, uh, uh, whole world is divided in different, well, universe is divided in different planets, and Lord body is representing. And everywhere, uh, His uh, supreme form, Virat Sarup, is there. So, this thing, when we underestimate, then at one point we may lose the test. So, one at, uh, at any given situation, we should understand the his supremacy, even though uh, we worship, sometimes we uh, underestimate his energy, his, his power. If we understand Lord's power, no person will leave uh, spirituality. So every moment we have to understand his greatness, his power. It's his energy. Everything is energy. Everything is his energy. Nothing is... Uh, uh, in this world, uh, uh, belongs to anybody else. Uh, so, 
Sometimes we see even Brahma misunderstand. Sometimes we saw even Lord Shiva misunderstood. Sometimes many beings misunderstood. Uh, but then, uh, because they are very elevated, they are very dear to the Lord, they could immediately come back. So we have seen many, they understand, but yet they leave bhakti. If we leave bhakti means we could not understand. There was one beautiful story in uh, one pujari in Vrindavan. He used to make garland and do puja to the deities. That uh, he was telling, my dear Lord, you are just standing and I am every day making garland, cooking for you and doing puja. And I think you are also getting tired standing whole day in the temple. What you'll do? And why not uh, you take my service? I take one day your service. And he was a great devotee. He said, okay. But uh, see, you don't know my service. My service is more important. Lord told him. Lord says, uh, if you want, one day I can give you, but you cannot speak anything. If you speak something, it will be a problem. But you just stand like I'm standing all day. At the end of the day, you give me the report. For one day I can leave you, but certainly you cannot do my job. The devotee says, no, 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 it's a very simple job. Just standing, what is there? In fact, I work, I do all this, please my parts, all this, do puja and cook, make garland, you know. I give prasadam to the people. He said, just for one day, let me see. I think your job is, but unnecessarily you are standing, getting pain. So I'll stand for you, what is that? So the pujari turned, sevak turned as a god, and Lord says, okay, he did service. So whole day he was, early in the morning somebody came. One big rich man came. And rich man, he did, he just stayed by his and he took out his purse. He took some money on the hundi. And he was a hurry to go to the office. He left the purse there with a lot of money. So, then, then the person who wished to clean the temple, he was praying to the Lord, the Almighty Lord, I have no money. And I'm starving, I have no nothing. And I have to pay so many places for my children's education, this. I need some money. So he, when he saw the purse, last night he could not sleep and he went this but immediately he took it in the pocket. And he thought, such a so kind. That Lord. Then uh, that Pujari thought, this is injustice. He, he, this not belongs to him and he took the money. But he promised to the Lord that he will not speak. So he cannot say anything. Then another person, he came, he's a sailor. He's supposed to go to, for sailing. So he came to do puja. And he was praying, my dear Lord, this time, please save me. Nothing should happen, my health should be okay. Uh, so when the sailor came, he was praying. That person who lost his, what do you call, purse, he came with police and he said, actually, I lost my purse. I had a lot of money. And police says, who are there? Nobody has seen. So they caught sailor. He said, you must have taken the purse. Sailor says, I just came. I am praying. I have not taken your purse. No, no. You have taken the purse. Then uh, the God <laughs> who acted the pujari who acted like God, he was, he said, better I should sort out this problem, I should speak. So he opened his mouth. No, 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 actually, the sailor has not taken the money. Money is taken by the sweeper, the cleaner of this temple, to bring him. So, uh, it was sorted out that uh, the cleaner came, he gave the purse, and... Uh, Seller le uh, left, and then that uh, the rich man he got his purse back. Now, in the night, when they supposed to ch exchange the service, says, then uh, 
the pujari confessed even though you told didn't told me so lord ask whatever, whatever no no i do everything nicely but one thing i did missed i spoke but i spoke for justice lord said you did big blunder what you did is very big blunder you did i told you not to speak but you spoke je hari kare se mamahita whatever i am doing that's best why you want to interfere now this rich man who came with the purse he is a filthy rich he has never done any good things in life i wanted his money should go for some good cause at least he'll be saved and he is giving this money to unknowingly to the poor devotee and now the seller i wanted he should be arrested and he is supposed to go to the jail for one day then the devotee said why he said because this time when he goes to the sheep the sheep will get drawn he'll die i want to save him so you have spoiled a whole game what you wanted what you did is blunder so we have our plan and lord having his plan we may not understand lord's plan we may what do you call underestimate his plan but it, it, it may may not make sense to us but it doesn't mean it doesn't make sense to lord it doesn't have any sense it may have sense but the sense what we make it may be not the right kind of sense the things what we see that may not be the correct way of seeing here we see the uh, lord saying that this poor devotee he didn't got help and now this person so uh, the rich man he will suffer and the seller will suffer and the the devotee who was praying for little money he will suffer so we as a devotee we see something but lord see something else so here he says who one who is experienced and a favor by the lord can understand everything is being done that means whatever is done in this world uh, good or bad whatever happening it is happening mai sarva midam bhuktam sutri mana ganaiva so it is connected to him nothing is moving without his direction uh, so uh, sometime that's uh, sorry we misunderstand and we think what the way we think that is right uh, so what lord thinks right that is right what we think is right is not right uh, uh, it happened with me also recently a uh, few months back i got headache so uh, doctor gave me some medicine he said you have fever i said no but i have headache i said probably no fever but headache why like that the doctor gave me some medicine so because of that medicine i got loose motion so i thought the loose motion doctor gave me the medicine it's too high 2 3 days so i took again medicine to stop the loose motion so again i got the headache uh, then again i went to the doctor he said i said probably again i got the headache he said samadhi what you did i said i took some medicine to stop i said that's a mistake you did i told you that you prescribe i whatever medicine i'm giving you you take it so then he said because of this problem in the stomach you are got headache so if the stomach problem is over then your headache will go away so it's interconnected what lord does it's a uh, it just does favor when uh, narad muni he lost his mother in snake bite he prayed to the lord and that you have done aap mujhe you have uh, blessed me you have been very kind to me because i was very much attached to my mother and 
I could never go to the spirituality. Uh, and believe me, I, myself also, I was very much attached to my mother. My family situation is good, no, no problem. I would never join, maybe. Or maybe it would be delayed. But because I lost my mother, I thought, well, now I am so much attached to my mother. You see, in the case of Srila Prabhupada, actually, he was thinking to earn money, help, but it didn't work out. But he had a little small conflict with his good wife. It's not a very big thing. All right. And that made him, Srila Prabhupada, such a great. He left home. Uh, if you see Dhruv Maharaj, it, actually, in one sense, that uh, a small child, five years old child, anything can happen. Each father has, Uttanpad has told, he didn't welcome him. What is a big thing? But he was saying, why it's happened like that? And his uh, stepmother, Suruchi, who had a good test, and his own mother name is Suniti, who had a principal. So principle is much better than test. So, but Sunit Suruchi told very strongly, Dhruv, if you want to be, uh, to get affection of your father, then better you be born in my son. That means you have no hope in your life. Uh, when he went to his mother, he said, only God can help. So what happened? What he did? Uh, he said, okay, I am living. On the way, Narada made, what Narada told, Dhruv, you are too small. Why you take so seriously? <laughs> right. So, uh, uh, but he was determined. But because uh, Narada is very determined, then he said, okay. So sometime, uh, a guru take a test. When guru sees that, uh, uh, so that that uh, uh, devotee is serious, then he helps. Usually, if some guru says that, no, no, you cannot do it. You can, okay. Usually, I see many. They say, okay, guru Maharaj, I cannot do it. But when he, he said, you are determined to do it. Okay, then guru will bless you. No, you cannot do it. We are, uh, normal devotee will say, no, no, yes. When Guru Mahas tell you, you cannot do it, means you cannot do it. Right? But when he is determined, oh, no, I can do it. Then Guru blessed. And Narada achieved. What Narada achieved, it's rarest of the rare. Uh, he, Bhagavatam says, even the demigods, they take pleasure of discussing about Dhruva Prahlad, such a great devotee. Srila Prabhupada says in, in Bhagavata Prabhupada, so I wish we could have some devotee like a Dhruva Prahlad in our mission one day. So Srila Prabhupada is such an exalted devotee. He, he himself is like a Dhruva Prahlad. But he is referring uh, such a humble way. Uh, what Srila Prabhupada did to this world, <laughs> it's uh, beyond our understanding. And otherwise, without his blessings, maybe this world would have suffered without Krishna Bhakti. Huh? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told that one day, whole world will chant Krishna's name. And uh, every town and village, but it didn't happen. But Srila Prabhupada, he wrote in Bengali, Prithivite uh, Nadanadi Asumud, Nagaradi Asumudra Nadanadi Shakalai loy Krishna naam, tahali ananda hai, tabe hai, digvi jai, chaitanir katha hati chai. That one day, not only, not only that every town and village, but even the birds and beasts, the rivers in the ocean, uh, every uh, trees, everybody should chant Krishna's name. Then I'll be happy. See the kind of thinking a Vaishnava having. In India, there are so many Vaishnav, so many exalted Vaishnav. But they didn't make this type of endeavor as Srila Prabhupada. 
So if we remember this, uh, uh, such a great uh, uh, saintly person, by his touch, even the fallen, even the very, uh, they become a saint, very high quality of saintly person. Uh, the, uh, uh, Vrindavan Das Thakur told that in Kali Yuga, the four type of people, they'll be, those who are very hopeless, they'll be blessed. And one is the niche, those who are very low class. And one is a patit, very fallen. Uh, one is a, uh, 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 what do you call, uh, those who are, what do you call, uh, uh, lazy, those who are, another thing is, uh, I forgot in the last, uh, the, uh, four type of people, they, uh, those who have all the bad quality, they uh, not clean, uh, they'll be blessed. Uh, other day, he joined in Japan, that's why Mara says, that uh, if you speak in the Western country, we have all the good quali these qualities. That means we are qualified to take the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's blessings. And uh, we see when Jagai Madhai became a, such a saint, there's the ashram of Jagai Madhai in Katowa. And it looks like after a ch meeting with Chaitanya Govnitai, and they left everything and they were chanting every day two lakhs name and they become saint. And in Navadip they were criticizing, hey Jagai Madhai, <laughs> you will become saint. So they could not tolerate all this, uh, what do you call it, uh, sarcastic word. So they left uh, Navadip and they stayed in Katova. They made an ashram. They stayed there. See how uh, I do, uh, uh, the blessings flow. So only thing is that we have to understand through the eyes of a devotee, the eyes of saint people, then it is possible. If we understand uh, through our understanding, then it's not possible. Uh, uh, if we have, what do you call, uh, uh, if we understand through spirituality, through Guru, Krishna, then it's possible to understand. Uh, so that means daily, we have to have nittam bhagavata seva. Daily we read, daily we read. And with all humility, uh, we should. But if we have ego that I am a great, like in India, we, many those who have janma sasa sutta sivi eva manamatapam. If we have good birth, uh, good family background, lot of, and uh, also a lot of money, sutta sivi. Yeah. Uh, somebody is very good orator. Or, uh, Somebody is very beautiful, then what uh, Kunti Devi says, that's also a, a, a problem, that is obstacles. In India, when the devotees were preaching in Vrindavan, some uh, Goswami, they told to our devotees, actually, you are a nice devotee, so next birth you'll be in, born in India. Srila Prabhupada says, you tell them, that next time you'll be born in America or other country and you'll preach and we'll go back to God. So Srila Prabhupada said those devotees who are born in other countries, uh, first, uh, two days back also one Gaudiamat uh, Swamiji uh, Guru, he told that all these devotees, initially they were, but those who were born in Western country, actually they are the associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They are not ordinary person. They are Mahapurusha, they are great. They are very saintly. They only they born to preach, to spread Krishna Bhakti all over the world. So we have to take seriously uh, Srila Prabhupada, the Guru's word, Bhakti Siddhanta Sak. He made a lot of efforts that, uh, that Krishna Bhakti should be spread all over the world. He tried his best and Srila Prabhupada could do it. And some in, in Chennai, one person asked Srila Prabhupada that, uh, Swamiji, you have what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told, he didn't do it, but you did it. You are greater than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Srila Prabhupada said, no, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left it for me. He wanted uh, that I should get some credit. It's he who did it. So see the humility. But we are the devotees, we are uh, Vaishnava, we use our intelligence how not to do it things. 
and yet, yet we ex act like a very nice Vaishnav. One Guruji, he was sitting in Bhashasana and he was trying to read Bhagavatam. And he saw Tulashi Tavis. Usually in India, when there's Bhagavatam class, we put Tulashi Tavis. So two side, two disciples sitting. And Guruji told, can you bring one Tulashi tap next to me? Tulashi plant. So one guru, disciple, he, he used his intelligence. He said, Guruji, you have never told us what is Tulashi tap. If you would have told us, I would have gone. Uh, immediately I could go and bring it. So, Guru. Other disciple was sitting next to this. He thought, now I have to go and bring it. So I should also use my intelligence. Otherwise, Guruji will tell me to. Guruji, I know Tulasi plant. Yeah, that Tulasi leaves are like a banana leaves. So <laughs> Guru could understand these two guys are not interested to serve. So I, that Guru told, are you sure you don't know Tulasi leaves? No, no, we don't. Know. If you would have told us, then we would have do the service. So Guru says, okay, because I already sat in the Bhashasan, I cannot move. So you carry my Bhashasan all together. I'll tell you. I'll tell you where the Tulasi lives and I'll get you there. So both had to carry. One side and one another side and carrying. So it become more heavier. And we did mistake. They were whispering. We did mistake. We could have just go and bring it. Now, and Guruji told, you go all around. All around. But Guruji, <laughs> then both the disciples, they pack on Guruji, this is a big blunder. We have to tell lie to you. Next time we will not tell lie to you. So in Kali Yuga, you can never know how the disciple act. One time in one, uh, uh, one, one guru had a small ashram. And uh, in the evening time, uh, just uh, night is coming. At the time, it was drizzling, raining. And uh, one cow was there in the shed. So Guru told to his disciple, Are, now rain is coming, and the cow is there. Uh, sorry, cow is there, and the rain. Uh, it looks like that uh, rain is coming on top of the cows. Uh, why the cow gets soaked in the water? You bring this uh, cow, you leave it, and it come inside. Uh, you say, Guruji, uh, <coughs> uh, it cow is tied, and only you can. When I'm a small, humble devotee, and I cannot tie my, I cannot open my tide. I mean. I'm tied up in the, this world of misery of problems. Only you can open his tide. And you are such a great saintly person. And you are opening everybody's ties. Only you can open the ties. I'm a small, humble devotee. I'm suffering in this world. How can I go and open the ties of cows? See how? So Guru is thinking, he's my guru or he's my disciple? His disciple or he's my guru? So, in Kali Yuga, you get like this disciple. Instead of doing service, he'll use all the philosophy not to do the service. You know? Then, uh, in the evening time, when they were going to sleep, okay, the guru went, he opened the... Then, when they were sleeping, guru says, can you close this light? Uh, then, uh, disciple told, Guruji, you told in your lecture, that if you close your eyes, you cannot see anything. So better we should close our eyes and sleep. So Guru you get upset. He's a disciple. My disciple, his guru. Whatever I'm telling, he's answering me back. Next morning, Guru got up, disciple could not get up. That's how it happened. Guru did puja and all, and somebody offered very nice, so many varieties of laddu. And uh, after finishing all the puja, archana, everything, offering, then Guruji came with all this to Kaji Laddu. He said, my dear disciple, 
he could not get up. So, why not you get up? Here is so much laddu has come, you take some prasadam. You get up, take bath and take prasadam. Guruji, yesterday I could not follow your instruction. Today I'm definitely, I'll, I'll follow your instruction. Give me the two kg laddu. Um, and I'll finish up everything. You don't need to disturb. This much I can do, not a person. Uh, so, we have to take in the right mood. Otherwise, uh, the so many, they came to Srila Prabhupada. They were Srila Prabhupada. Some they took seriously, some they didn't. Srila Prabhupada says very nicely that uh, uh, Ishkan is like a, what do you call? Uh, a, it is there in, his, uh, in Bengali literature. He wrote that it's like a, uh, if in the, in the road one got, truck got stuck with a lot of rice bags and uh, some birds, they'll come, they'll eat something and go. Some birds from distance, they'll watch. Uh, but it, uh, similarly, devotees also, they'll take something and devo people. Uh, it all depends their ability, understanding. But somebody intelligent, what he'll do? He'll take everything. So, Krishna, he says, I'm giving Krishna Bhakti. It's up to you how we take seriously. So, some they took seriously, some they left. When uh, they were there, when Srila Prabhupada, they, they were with him. But as soon as Srila Prabhupada left this planet, they also left. So, we have to be serious. Uh, but some they serve, though Srila Prabhupada gave them association maybe 10 years, 11 years. But they serve the mission after that also in separation. Uh, so we, the, our Chaitanya Mahaprabhu our mood is to serve the uh, Radha and Krishna in separation in this life. So uh, we had maybe the grand disciple opportunity to mix with the Guru. Usually a Guru-disciple relation doesn't last that long, 30, 40, 50 years. We usually in India, Gurus are all old, about 50 years old. So it's our luck we could do, get their association understand. But it's, uh, it's true in the sense in here, that unless Lord, without Lord's blessings, it is difficult to understand Him. So we keep on striving with all humility. Uh, Krishna told very clearly, Mulham nanu pashanti pashanti jnana chokshusha. If we have a, uh, if we are foolish, cannot understand. Dadamite dibha chokshu uh, I give you the Dibba Chakshu by which you can know me. Murham. Huh? So those who are full, they cannot understand me. Pashanti Jnana Chakshu. With the Jnana Chakshu you can show. Now, if you calculate other way around, so many stalwart devotees sitting, if you say, no, I cannot understand Lord, that means you are full. So better we should not think ourselves full. At least even if we don't understand, tell, yes, I understand. At least people will not understand we are full. But if you say, I don't understand, that means we are full. So we have to, under, we have to understand which group we should go. We should be called foolish or we should be intelligent. Even if you don't understand, at least tell, no, no, I understand. So we have to, <laughs> this for a joke, but I am saying we have to try, somehow try to understand in right spirit. Uh, because... Sometimes I see that uh, even being a devotee, they get confused. Uh, so we have to understand everything going under his direction. Then we need know that Prithu Maharaj, he established, uh, 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 established everything rightly. He, uh, Mother Earth produced everything and uh, uh, it was back to normal. Uh, it says in uh, Kurma Puran, it says that... Uh, uh, before Prithu Maharaj, before King Vena, it was Satya Yuga, means everything was normal. All were very good devotees. But because of King Vena, actually, uh, some scriptures say that uh, Satya Yuga, you don't need to even implement uh, Varnashram, because everybody is devotee. It's like a Daivi Every automatically their Varnashram is going. You don't need to tell. But in, uh, according to Kurma Puran, after Prithu, this uh, all is varnasam, it was necessary, without that it was problematic. But before Prithu, before King Bhena, 
a whole uh, universe was uh, full of spirituality and it was moving on free spirit. Uh, Satya Yuga means uh, like a, whenever Satya in this planet, it becomes Vaikuntha. Vaikuntha means nothing you do. Only you do spirituality, everything will go. Even grains will grow automatically. And there is a Kalpa Vriksha, that means whatever you want, you will get it. Uh, fruits, everything grows. You don't need to do even crops. Uh, but that is uh, for, for ordinary devotees very difficult to understand. But that was the system that is according to uh, Puranas. Uh, but wherever, when, it, when the spiritual is diminished, then it goes uh, down like that. But again, in the uh, second canto, it says, uh, Purushukta Priya, it says that actually uh, in the whole universe, 75% are devotees. Only 25% in different planets, 25% only non-devotees. Uh, so let us, when 25%, let us not mix with the non-devotees and try to be best devotee. And Bhaktivinoda Thakur says that actually going back to God is difficult. It takes some time, two, three lifetime. But Srila Prabhupada insisted, Bhakti Siddhartha insisted, let us go back to God in this lifetime. Uh, if possible. Other, we don't know what will happen next. Uh, what, is the, uh, what will be the consequences? Uh, how it will happen? You will get the association of devotees or not? What will happen? Uh, basically, we all become devotees by the association of devotees. Uh, but, and that is the only way. Uh, uh, Krishna Bhakti Mughal Hai Sadhu Sangha. Only by the association of devotees we can get Krishna Bhakti. Uh, so let us. Uh, uh, Somehow or other, uh, live with the devotees and cr practice Krishna Bhakti. One devotee in Mayapur, uh, when Srila Prabhupada was there, he came to Prabhupada. He said, Prabhupada, he has gone so many problems, so many things. I cannot stay here. He said, Srila Prabhupada said, I agree with you. There is some problem. But problem outside is much bigger. And if somehow if you tolerate this problem, you will be Nityananda. You get Nityananda's blessings. If you go outside, there's Nitya Dukha. What do you want? You want Nitya Dukha or Nityananda? There's a small, small problem you tolerate. Uh, so if we, we all have to tolerate what we are in this world, so many small, maybe we don't face bigger problem, we face some problem. But if, if we tolerate, then we have Nityananda, according to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai. Krishna Chandra Bhagavan ki jai. Vedvas ki jai. Sukhdev Maharaj ki jai. Saraswati Mata ki jai. Samvita Bhaktavinda ki jai. Any question? Any comment? Anything? Hare Krishna Prabhuji, thanks a lot for a wonderful class. Uh, my doubt is regarding this service, uh, when, like, when seniors give us the service, then if we think that, okay, it is not under my capability, like I will be able to uh, do it in the proper way or not. So, but like a lot of times, like uh, two things will go on, saying like, senior devotee has given the service, we should do it with uh, our best effort. Other, like, other side is like, uh, okay, my skills or uh, capabilities are not matching with this, I cannot do it. So like, how to decide, Prabhuji? You say uh, sometime, as I understand from you, that uh, yeah. when senior devotee ordering, by authority ordering you to for some service, maybe it's not your capability to do the service. One is the capability, other one is the time and circumstances. Timings. Uh, there are many way of looking things. Maybe senior devotee, he wants you may not you may not be cap capable maybe he wants you should be capable so if we uh, if we uh, work hard uh, if we take it right direction maybe one day we will be capable uh Srila Prabhupada told to gargamuni that you go
to Africa and you preach. Gargamani said, Prabhupada, me going to Africa? Prabhupada, they are Negro. And Gargamani told to Prabhupada, Prabhupada, they are Negro. Africa, I am not going. Srila Prabhupada said, you call them Negro, I call you White Negro. So, oh, then uh, Prabhupada called Brahm, Brahmananda Prabhu. He said, uh, your brother says he doesn't want to go. Why not you go and preach? I bless you, you can preach there, not you. So, Brahmananda Prabhu went there. And he preached next. So, Gargamani saw he is not capable. He doesn't want to mix with all these people. Huh? And uh, I'll tell you, uh, uh, I have heard, I was there. Siddhar Maharaj was a very fr good friend of uh, Srila Prabhupada. Uh, I think Srila Prabhupada had a max, he had a friendship with few, more, many of uh, God brothers. May, they may not agree with Srila Prabhupada, but otherwise, personal, but with Siddhar Maharaj, he had a very good friendship. So, uh, very trustworthy friendship. So, Siddhar Maharaj told one time, in praise only, he said, what Swami, they call it Swami Maharaj, what, what Swami Maharaj done, uh, uh, I could have do something, but I cannot tolerate this hope, hopeless hippies, their bad habits, you know. Uh, so, I'm saying that they could have also do it, but uh, they didn't make themselves capable of doing it. So Srila Prabhupada made himself, Srila Prabhupada also told that actually I am not capable. He wrote in Bengali poetry, I am I'm just a small devotee and I got the title Bhakti Nai Ved Nai Nami Khubbaro Bhakti Vedanta Nam Nami Shakta Karo. So neither I have Bhakti nor I do Vedas. But uh, my name is Bhakti Vedanta. <laughs> nachao, nachao, Prabhu, nachao se mate. Kaste putuli jata, nachao se mate. You make me dance like a doll on your hand. So we all are not capable. What we are doing, we came to chant Hare Krishna Sarada Vaishnava. Gradually, gradually, some get. Uh, so we should do it humility, but at the same time, if you say, I'm not capable, I'll not do it, then when will you learn? Nobody became capable from the mother's stomach, they all keep became capable, right? If somebody says, no, no, I'll not allow my son or daughter to walk because he or she is going to fall. But falling is compulsory. Uh, then one learn. So everywhere we make mistake, we are not capable. But somehow if we make a right attitude, uh, then maybe... It all, if, then Lord will bless also. If we pray, my dear Lord, I got this service, I am not capable. Please help me, I just want to do it. I pray to the Vaishnavas, maybe one day will be capable. Uh, and the jivas, they get blessings. So the Prabhupada says, uh, actually, we are not capable, but if we strive for the blessings of the Lord, Vaishnavas, maybe one day we will be capable. Thank you, bro. Yeah. yeah. Krishna, Prabhuji. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for the wonderful class, Prabhuji. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, from the story, Prabhuji, we understood that Krishna's plans are inconceivable, very difficult to understand. Uh. And for every devotee, there will be a special plan by Krishna so that we can reach him. So in our life, how do we better understand Krishna's plan and align our decisions in that way so that we can perfect our life project? Many times it will be a little confusing. Uh, so, Yeah, it's true that, as I told you, for us it doesn't, something doesn't make sense, but doesn't mean that it doesn't make sense to Krishna. Uh, what makes sense to Krishna, it may not be making sense to us. So, what we need to do is that, 
it's very simple. We have joined to do some service and practice our devotion service, life. If we do nice devotion service, we have a clean mind. Uh, when uh, uh, Bhakti Vinay Thakur very nicely he told, it is there in Bhagavatam. Oikanta Saranagati, Saranga Saranagati, Haibe Jaha, Tahar Prathana Sutta, Brajanta Kumar. When total surrender is there, then Tesam Satasitanam Bhajatam Priti Purmakam, Dadami Buddhi Jekam Tam Jana Mahapumat. I give you the intelligent. Yeah. If you have uh, Priti Purmakam Bhakti, you get the intelligent. It is a Paramatma, it is a Lord who gives the intelligent guidance, everything. Uh, we are not smart, Lord is smart. And those who are uh, intelligent, they never think they are very smart. They know I may make a mistake. So they think everybody is smart. I am not smart, others are smart. So I have to be smart. I am saying whatever the uh, uh, caliber we have, at least you, whatever, the, gradually, gradually we can live. Uh, when I joined ISKCON, those days there was uh, only book distribution. And believe me, we were more, I was knowing little English, little Hindi, but one devotee, he, wa he has some problem in the air, he cannot hear anything. I'm talking back, way back in 78. And there was a flood. So after flood, uh, Bengali bha Bhagavad Darshan, they got spoiled. So we were trying to dispose it, dry and dispose it quickly. And, uh, and uh, the, our leader was a very tough leader. 77 also. Uh, Bhakti Anand Maharaj. I think 77. So uh, we were able to distribute only 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Bhagavad Darshan. Back to God, Bengali Bhagavad Darshan. And anywhere you go, anywhere you meet, he'll ask question. So, uh, why you join his con? What actually happened? So, you. Uh, I was just hardly 17 years, 16, 17 years old. And, uh, no, no, uh, maybe you, your girlfriend had cheated you, or you didn't like, or something happened, or maybe some prob uh, problem. In, is that, what is your problem? So, he explained everything for one hour. At the end, somebody would have taken one Bhagavad Darshan and no. But this one devotee, still he's alive, Kamakya. He cannot hear. From beginning, he cannot hear much. Whenever he used to go, he used to sell more, 30, 40. And then the leader, they chastised us so badly. Believe me, you cannot take it. Our, uh, I was there with him for uh, maybe one week. 77, the same leader was sweet. But 78, when I was distributed, I was young. I came from ninth class maybe just to stay with him because my cousin brother was there. And uh, uh, when I was working with him, it was very tough. He used a lot of wrong language. But we saw that devotee with deep, he's not able to hear. Deep and dumb, he was selling very nicely. And then Maharaj told me, go with him and find out why he's selling, you are not able to see. I don't want to tell in Vyasasana how he was using language with me. And I share with our Bombay Juhu Devakinandan Prabhu. He said that Maharaj was really offensive. <laughs> he also stayed a few days before me, but he could not. I could not stay with him. So what we saw, anybody is approaching his state, what is the Kamakya Prabhu is telling. Uh, Bhagavad Darshan, in Teli Bengal, Bhagavad Darshan, one rupee, take, 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 take. And they were asking question because he cannot, anyway, he cannot hear anything. He said, I am from Mayapur Chandra Mandir, Bhagavad Darshan, one rupee, Bhagavad Darshan, anybody taking and not taking, yeah, just going away. So he was selling. But because we were answering the, uh, their question, we were not able to sell. And this devotee really useless. He was a cook. And he was selling. Now you see how, what is it? 
And you'd see, I'll tell you, long before I was president, Prabhuji mentioned I was president in Delhi, started Punjabi Bhag. For 10 years I was president. Uh, Gopal Krishna one time we had a meeting in Delhi, that collection. So for live membership, that uh, live membership, uh, marathon month, we have to make more live members. Then everybody said, Maharaj is difficult, Maharaj is really good, Maharaj is problem, this problem. Those days, Ishkona was not known. I'm talking 40 years back. Then Maharaj said, look, in Bombay, one devotee, he just eighth class pass. And he doesn't know, except Hindi, he doesn't know Hindi and Gujarati, he doesn't know any language. But he's the best collector. So, it is not your caliber or my caliber. So, uh, it's a Krishna's blessings which works. Somehow we have to strive. Uh, which university Naradmuni went or Vedibhash went? Huh? Dhruva Maharaj went. Which university? Or Prahlad went? Because um, Bhakti Maharaj Thakur Jada Vidya, one is a worldly education, one is spiritual education. Adhatta Vidya, Krishna is saying. Adhatta Vidya. The two Vidya. Jada Vidya, Adhatta Vidya. So we have to somehow strive for the spirituality. If spirituality is there, I can give you some practical example. 1989, I was uh, doing Vrindavan Parikrama. And those days, if you see the Vrindavan, what you see now, it's difficult to locate the Parikrama route. Somehow you have to go to somebody's farm, this way, that way, that way. And I took one devotee, he was from, uh, I think, uh, America or Brazil, somewhere, I, I forgot. So he took me around, he's a little senior to me. He took me senior. Uh, the, uh, and what I, uh, then because they're Hindi people, so I spoke to different devotees, sadhus, that, hey, what are you doing, what is that? He said, and believe me, I don't want to criticize, but few of them I saw, they're not even literate. Uh, hardly six, seven class pass, but they had ashram and they're doing some tapasya. And uh, this, I asked them, what do you want in life? He said, I want my big ashram, nice temple. They had land, but nothing was there. Or, but I, where I'll go and collect money. But they're doing certain type of austerity. And their aim was like ashram, temple, devotees and all. They're just praying, praying. And they're not very educated. But I see that now they have big, big ashram. It's all Krishna's blessings. So when Krishna's blessing flows, impossible become possible. Asabhav sambhav hai. Meeting time can we end class SIDC secretary. So, let us try for blessings. It's possible. Keep on sir. There's one nice beautiful example is there, but it is true, we have to end. If five minutes you can give, few minutes, two, three minutes possible. One beautiful example I remember. You see one Brahmin, I'll end within few. One Brahmin, he had no children in Kashi. So, he was praying to Lord Shiva, you are Kashi, sir, give me one son. He was praying, 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 he became a little old. And finally, Lord Shiva appears that, actually in your life there is no son. But I can give you boon, if you want a nasty son, who will live, he'll long, live long time. But if you have a very gentle, nice, sweet son, he'll live only for five years. So you choose in between one. You want a notorious son or you want a, uh, what do you call, uh, gentle one. He said, anyway, if notorious son means uh, my life will be spoiled. I'll have more anxiety. Better to have at least, even five years, let him live five years. After that, we'll see. He'll live only five years. Nothing else. So Lord Shiva gave blessings and, and he eventually got son. Very sweet, very nice. And then when four years over, he was praying, my dear Lord, what to do? 
this son is, and it will be painful if he dies. So he went to some sadhus, saintly persons, that uh, actually in his uh, fate he is supposed to die. The sadhus advised that the only way you can get a uh, blessings quickly that you pay obeisances to all the sadhus, everybody, Vaishnavas. Vaishnavas, Sadhu, Vaishnavas, etc. No, no, sorry. Only pure devotee. If you have pay obeisances to pure devotee, all your sin food actually will go away. Uh, then uh, again he went, he said, uh, how to get a pure devotee? We don't know who is pure devotee. Then his guru advised, okay, what you do? You pay obeisances to everybody. So somebody will be pure at least. So he keep on paying, both father and son keep on paying uh, obeisance to everyone. Everywhere they, wherever they go, spiritual places, they pay obeisance to all the Vaishnavas. Now they got so much piety that Saptarishi appeared there. Saptarishi says, Aishman Bhava, Dirgayu Bhava, Chiranjivi Bhava. So Brahman, as soon as uh, Saptarishi appeared in their house, Pay obeisance, and then Brahman says, you, It's good that you told, but this boy is going to die within one or two weeks' time. And what, what should you do? Saptarisha says, We didn't know that, we got stuck. But we know Brahma is the creator, he can only do something. Let us go to Brahma. So Saptarisha took Brahman and son to Brahma. So as soon as Brahma met Saptarishi, immediately he also told, Aishman Baba, Dirgai Baba, change. Some, the Saptarishi said, our work is done. Now we have no problem. Now it's Brahma's headache. So Brahma, then as Saptarishi told nicely, after all this, Prathana, Bandhana, everything, paying wishes. The Saptarishi told very politely that uh, actually this boy is supposed to die within one week, ten days. And uh, you told Aishman Baba, said, now what will happen? to this boy. He said, who, who gave a word to, who, 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 who told that he's going to leave uh, five, five years only? He said, uh, Lord Shiva, he gave the boon for this child. So let us go to Lord Shiva. So all went, Saptarishi, Brahma, as soon as they all went to the Lord Shiva, as usual, Lord Shiva also told, Ayushman Baba, Sirgai Baba, Chiranji Baba. Now, <laughs> Brahma said, my work is done. So, then Brahma told, it's good you told, but this boy is supposed to die. Then Lord Shiva said, who gave the bunt for this? He said, you, you gave this. Then he said, okay. You all go, I'll take care. Eventually death came. That person cried. He said, what do you want? He said, no, I want this child. He's supposed to die. Uh, Lord Shiva says, Lord Shiva told these people that you keep on praying. Just pay obeisance in the mind to everybody. And uh, Lord Shiva said, now you count how much piety this boy having. That was old issue. Then that uh, death personified told that he has so much piety that he will never die. And that person become Markandiya Muni. So, paying obeisances to the Vaishnavas, maybe will purify us. Let us pray to everybody. We don't know who is who. Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Markandiya Muni ki jai.